On the 20th of August 2020, 20 years old Kaleb Barry went on a boat party with nine other people in Odessa, Ukraine. He was the only black person in that boat. When the boat sailed back to land after the party, he was the only person who did not return. What happened to Kaleb Barry? Before we go on, please take a moment to subscribe and turn on your notification button for more future videos like this. Caleb Barry's friend, Daniel, who had waited to receive him on land, ended up only receiving his properties of bags, a phone, and a shirt. He didn't even receive an explanation on what had happened to his friend. The news that Obari went missing in a boat party where he was the only black person soon spread around and within Nigeria, Obari's home country. This caused Nigerians to call for justice for Caleb as they believed he had been a victim of racial discrimination. It was soon learned that Caleb had been invited by a female friend in Odessa and upon further investigation by a volunteer group called Rescue Platform 911 in Ukraine, the name and identity of this female friend was revealed to be Miss Vera Topalova, the owner of a BDSM themed bar in Izanka, Odessa. Upon learning that the party was a BDSM themed party, speculations that Caleb must have died during one of the BDSM activities began to spread. There was this belief that he had died from torture and was thrown into the sea by everyone else on the boat. Hence the lack of explanation by anyone on the boat the day he disappeared. Vera Topalova was soon put on blast by Alexandra Sopelnik, a PR of Rescue Platform 911. He had insinuated that racism had definitely been the cause of Caleb's disappearance. He also accused Vera of changing her phone number and hiding from the authorities. It was on this note that Vera eventually broke her silence, six days after Caleb had gone missing. She denied changing her phone number, she also denied running away from the authorities. She did say that she had spoken to investigators handling the case. She also went on to make a lengthy Facebook post explaining what had happened on the boat the day Caleb went missing. She admitted to inviting Caleb to the party as he was a new friend of hers. They had only known each other for six months prior to the day he had disappeared. He was also probably familiar with some of the other guests of the boat. According to Topalova, 15 minutes after they set sail, they anchored the boat and a few of the guests went on to swim. She said she saw Caleb take off his shirt and joined the other guests. After a while, the other guests who had gone to swim along with Caleb began to look for Caleb. It would be later said by Daniel that Caleb did not know how to swim. On the 12th of September 2020, nearly 23 days later, Caleb's body would be found dead near the coastline in Kono Mosque. His body would be taken for identification, of which Vera and Daniel would be present to identify him. An autopsy would be carried out and it would be said that the case would be treated as accidental drowning. It is unclear if this is the end of the road for the Caleb Barry's case, as no new information has been brought up to light and no one has been arrested. Many Nigerians still stand by their belief that it was a case of racism. Some believed it was a BDSM gone wrong and they had tossed his body overboard to make it seem like an accident, stating that Caleb could not swim. There was no way he would have opted to go into the water to swim when he knew he could not swim. Some argued that if Caleb had vanished from swimming, why didn't anyone say anything to his friend when they handed him his properties? Not even Vera said anything to Daniel that moment. So guys, what do you think? Do you think this was a case of accidental drowning or do you suspect foul play? Let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.